Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. What we're gonna do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. That's right, it is throw back. Thursday and on this day I like to dig deep into the crates go back to the days of yesteryear and play some classic hits now it is actually 10 18 on Thursday night and I am sitting here watching my Broncos get spanked by the Chiefs who's your daddy <clears throat> who's your daddy and I started realizing that you know, tomorrow is Friday the 13th, and I started thinking about songs about Friday the 13th, and this is only, like I said, about 20, 30 minutes ago that I started doing this after I did the last video, and I thought of doing the song Somebody's Watching Me by Rockwell. Now, Rockwell's real name is Kenneth William Gordy, and what I just found out is that he has a half sibling called uh, Stephen Kendall Gordy. And do you know who Stephen Kendall Gordy is? It's Red Bull with the big ass bra and like Bruce Lee, I got the cloud, yeah. Yeah, Red Foo is Rockwell's half brother. Get the fuck out of here. I know. So, uh, the song again is Somebody's Watching Me and it came out in 1980. Now, if, if you've seen any of my videos, you'll always hear me say one way or another, every single week, I end up back at 1984, because 1984 was a very pivotal year for me. I moved from the UK to the United States that year, and it was just a big, giant culture shock, and a lot of things happened, and 1984 is probably one of the greatest years in the 80s and i'm just saying so uh we all know if you've heard this song that michael jackson is singing on this song and michael jackson is related to you know red foo only by being a brother-in-law because jermaine jackson married barry gordy's daughter so that's how that all worked out so uh, let's take a look at what this song did on the charts, and I know it did really, really well. And Balamo, it went to number 12 in Australia, number 14 in Austria, number 1 in Belgium, number 2 on the Canada Top Singles, 14 in Finland, number 1 in France, number 6 in Ireland, 14 in Italy, number 2 on the Netherlands Dutch Top 40, 4 on the Netherlands Single Top 100, Five in New Zealand, seven in Norway, five in South Africa, number one in Spain, number four in Sweden, number three in Switzerland, number six in the UK, number two on the Billboard Hot 100, number one on the US Hot Black Singles, number two on the Cashbox Top 100, number three on the US Dance Disco Top 80, number 31 on the US Top Tracks Billboard, and number two in West Germany. This song, you could not escape. And, you know, it was just what it was. It was there and then it was gone. Because Rockwell really didn't do anything else. He tried to do uh, uh, put out other songs, but they seemed to be all about the, like being creepy, like Upsing Phone Caller and Peeping Tom. And it's like, dude, you already did Somebody's Watching Me. Why do you have to do a song called Peeping Tom? Or up scene. it's just it was ridiculous. But you know, he had the he had his one hit. He has the one hit with his, you know, with Michael Jackson. So he's got that to say. So if you like videos like this and others on my channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification.
creation fund because I'm doing at least 10 videos each and every week or at least I am trying to. Also, if you like this song, if you have a memory about this song, or if you have a suggestion, please leave a comment down below. So, without any further ado, here is Rockwell and Somebody's Watching Me. What's she trying to do? Why don't she turn him in? She's a smart girl. Smart girl? She'll get herself arrested. Yeah, it'll get her out of there, won't it? Look, the wedding ring. video because it is blocked for me but you still get the point 
It's he's still cheesy. He's trying to do like a Vincent Price type of voice in the middle of that, and he actually carries it too long. But you know what? I can't say anything about the, really about the song now because back in the day, everybody loved it. It's like, oh, we have another song that has Michael on it after Michael Jackson already did Thriller, the video, the album. Then he had the Brothers with the Victory Tour, which was in 1984. You couldn't, you had a lot of Michael Jackson, and if you liked Michael Jackson, it was perfect. So, if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. 